so in this case we are going to consider as a continuation uh, this time working with the rules of probability which is uh, the basics of uh, the rules that is dependent and independent events as we consider uh, our probability part to say when two events do occur a and b how can they be related to each other dependent independent so these are going to be used or they are going to affect uh, the, this part of events i'm not uh, referring to the definitions now but i'm just i just want you to know where are we going to have the effects later on we are going to have effects on our Venn diagrams. They can be part uh, where it is needed on our Venn diagrams. It can also be applied when working with the tree diagrams. You are working with a tree diagram. You are working with the contingency tables. All right, can be any part, especially the contingency table, when it is, uh, when we draw these ones, our questions basically will be to know if the events are dependent or independent. Yes, it can happen from a tree diagram, from a Venn diagram. So let's uh, consider these events. Uh, as we can see, uh, they do have effects later on. So you must understand exactly what you are dealing with all right so number one let us just start with independent independent events so when something is uh, independent that is there is no influence of one there is no effect of one like two outcomes are said to be independent if the outcome of one event does not affect another one. When you are independent, all right, let's say these are two events, or let us just consider on a life situation. This is A and this is B. So for A to be independent, it is not affected by B. It is not affected by B. What is or what is B is done. So we are simply saying the outcomes of the second, they do not affect what uh, we have on the first part. It is not affected. All right, so let us just have this one uh, in writing. So we can say uh, two events, because here we're considering events. All right, so let's go back to our mathematics. We are saying uh, two events are said to be independent. To be uh, independent. So we can start with independent for us to understand the dependent part, right? If the outcome, all right, so if the outcome of one event, of one event does not affect, so it does not affect, yeah, does not, does not affect or it does not influence does not influence the outcomes the outcomes of the second of the second event so thus an independent event a occurs or a happens and then is followed by event b in actual sense. Thus, if you are considering uh, A and B, A happens, 
and then is followed by what by the event b if you are considering uh two events a and what and b but when you consider to say one is depending on another one it means the probability of a to happen it must be because b is occurred or the probability of b to occur it must be because a is occurred you see the difference so independent on its own so therefore under independent events the major case here is that the probability of what we see in a and b can be actually be probability as it is of our product to multiply probability of a times probability of b because it's on its own it is on its own a is on its own b is on its own so just multiply that okay but when one depends on another one okay which means the condition is it will be it is influence of the other all right so that is a dependent now this one so we have got a dependent event a dependent all right which is for dependent events so we are saying uh, two events or two successive events all right two successive events are said uh, to be dependent all right they are said to be uh, dependent if the outcomes of the first if the outcomes of the first event of the first event do have here it do does have an influence do have an influence on the other all right on them all right do you have an influence or affects let us just uh, say here uh just affects do we have an influence on the other outcome or affects the other outcome affects uh the outcomes of the second event so it affects the outcomes of what of the second event that's the major case here so Thus, we cannot say probability of A and B is exactly the same to this. No, it is not equal. It is not. So that is the, the case. They cannot be equal. As what we saw on the independent. Because A is on its own, B is on its own. So therefore, when you work to when you work A and B, the product they must be exactly equal to the product when you multiply A to be separated. But on a condition of a dependent event where one is influenced or is affected by another, thus this condition cannot work. The only condition that can be used. Therefore, the only condition that can be used is that probability of A and B is going to be that probability of A times the probability of B given that A is occurred. The probability of B given that A has occurred. That is the case now. The probability of what? B provided that A is okay. 
in that case, we can say, all right, these are dependent events. So this is what we need. So in terms of testing the question, you can test with this. If, the, if, if these two, they do not comply, when they are not equal, therefore they are dependent. If they are exactly the same, you conclude they are independent events. In a case, maybe it is for you to show by calculation to say, or maybe they ask you, are these, uh, are these events dependent or independent, depending with the condition of a question? All right, so let us check uh, some of the questions, how they might be given. On number two, we have got a question, given events P and Q, the probability of what is in P is 0, 0,7. What is in Q is 0, 0,2. And the probability of A and Q, sorry, P and Q, is uh, 0, 0,14. P and Q. On 2.1, you're being asked, are these events, P and Q, mutually exclusive? Right? It's another part as we are focused on this. Uh, 2.2. All right. Since it is part of the question, let us answer it. Uh, we are given uh, to answer this part and explain your answer. Explain your answer. Okay. So let's see. Remember in our previous class, right? Uh, if we check, we had a class that we referred to events that are mutually exclusive. If you still remember, where we talked about intersection, or we can consider that these two are exactly the same. If you add what is of A, you add what is of B together, that is A or B, or the intersection is equal to zero. So let's see, guys, uh, which one can we consider here? We have what is in P and what is in Q. Guys, A and this one, P and Q, it's not this one. It's already this one is a direct question, guys, as we can see the probability of P and Q is not equal to zero. It is equal to zero comma this one, zero comma one four. So as we can see, it is not equal to zero. It is equal to a certain value there, which is not equal to zero. Therefore, these events, they are not mutually exclusive. Because for mutually exclusive, it must be equal to zero. So therefore, uh, P and the Q, all right, therefore P, events P and the Q are not, they are not mutually exclusive. All right, just like that. So that is, uh, okay, Just that was just for the other class that we had before. Let us quickly rush to the major part of our class, which is testing on being independent event explain your answer are these events p and q independent so you say for these two events to be independent a condition is given a and b so let's test with that one for p and q all right for p and q to be independent all right, for these two events to be independent events, the probability, if we are to consider, of P and Q must be exactly equal to probability of P times the probability of Q. This is what we understand. The probability of Q. So we have P and Q already. It is given, this one. It is given. We do not have this part of the product. We have P on its own, the probability of P on its own, that of Q on its own. But we need the product so that we can test. So let's find the probability of P times the probability of Q, direct by taking what is in Q, in P, which is 0, 0,7, times what is in Q in terms of the probability which is 0, 0,2. So multiplying these two, we're going to obtain a 0, 0,14.
So as we can see, these two events, they are independent because it is the same thing as what we had before, what we're given here. P and Q is 0, 0,14. They are exactly the same. The probability of P and Q is exactly equal to the probability of P when multiplied to the probability of what? Of Q. So therefore, they are independent events. So therefore, uh, P and Q are what? Are independent events. So this is how these questions can be given as it is most in most cases it's about uh, testing checking to see if events are this or that so know your basics revise all your basics are they independent are they dependent and also those other event types of exhaustive mutually exclusive inclusive events Let's do revise as many questions as we can.